something that is of great concern in our society. It's a season and a reason no, for I'm everything. Saying I'm going above and beyond, so I'm not going to go above and beyond. That's what we're talking about now. No, 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 no. Six. Well, you know right from wrong. You know how you Why felt. Why would you cause that on someone? But you know, the, the bottom line is people don't share those types of things because they're afraid of being judged. And it takes me back to my friend mm -hmm. because the, the person that she was communicating with, she was very open and she always has been, uh, very open about some of the, her choices in her life. And this person really um, kind of got a little angry with her and just said, you know, I see right now that your values and my values don't match. So, and he really began to, to judge her harshly. And she said, hold up, wait a minute. I'm not that same person. Person. I've matured. There are some things now that I wouldn't necessarily do that I did in the past. Mm -hmm. And you know, we have to be open as individuals. We want people to be honest with us and and we have to be careful that we don't judge. But then, mm -hmm. you know, I look at it from a different perspective. If this person is judging you, maybe that's not the person that's meant for you. Mm -hmm. And not only that, like the caller said, you know, this lady, you know, he asks the questions. So yes, she should have been forthcoming because he asked the questions. My thing is, if you're asking me questions and you're wanting to know, I'm gonna answer your questions. You, you see what I'm well, right, you know, but, but then, but just, <laughs> so if he had not asked her the question, she should not have. It's okay. You're basically I'm saying. I'm saying it's okay, but I mean, it's just like that young lady. Let's look at her. She may not. It, that may be embarrassing to her. But the thing that about situation. it, but you, well, you're, you're so missing if it. If she would have answered the question, you know, I'm saying if she he asked. He had the right to know the answer right. to the questions he asked. But if she was truthful with him, you know, that could be an embarrassing part of her life. I don't know. I've never been in that situation before. But that probably could be embarrassing to her. But it doesn't matter. What happens later could be worse. And when you, you know, I started really thinking about the fact that there are individuals, and I, and I, I use personal examples. You know, I, I, I know someone that was, you know, sexually active at a young age, mm -hmm. got involved with, with a young man, mm -hmm. and there are people that knew that he was HIV positive. She, they didn't tell her, he didn't tell it. Ooh. And so at the age of 17, she was infected. Well, that's against the law. It is, it I is mean, against, that's against the law. Against it is now. It is now. Time. Time. But why do you think the law came about? Because yeah. people what felt happens? like they were not lying, they just omitted the information. Now, and it, it, it like ruins that, people's lives. Yeah. But again, me, before I gave myself, up to anyone. We had to go to a doctor. But we see, had to get some results. But it doesn't always show up. Let's just say it's that it 10 year about, it or 11 years. years. No, it can take up to 20 years. Right, so you may not HIV. necessarily know. So I need to know what kind of lifestyle you had in the past so that I can make a decision. But then the other side of that too, you know, we, they can tell a lie about that. Okay. Yes. If, I think yes. if a person is yes. a liar, they're they, going to lie. They're going to lie no matter what. You know, I, I understand that there are some people who, who do fear rejection. Mm -hmm. I understand that. And they fear embarrassment. Mm -hmm. It's like, but there are some people who are just plain old, just bad, just evil. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, hey, this is what I want. And I'm going to do whatever it takes whatever to, it takes to and get it. Up. And I kind of put those persons in a different category with the one that was more have been embarrassed not saying that that was right but I can understand if you're feeling embarrassed or if you're fearful of rejection mm -hmm. versus the one who had the HIV knowing right you know but it all falls in the same category how can you separate it if you know 
felt that you had a promiscuous lifestyle and that you could potentially be putting someone in harm's way whether you're aware of it or not I would tell you I would need tell. to share that information I would tell. that is a lie by omission in my book period point blank I would you tell. need to disclose this information and I will consider it a lie the question did you lie yes you lied but the, th the sad part about it though in our society today practically everybody's been running around having sex with everybody well, what in this society, in this society okay, there's no teenagers let's group everyone this. always wants to tell everything but wait 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 we need to clarify something she said in this society everybody's been running around laying around with everybody we're gonna draw a line <laughs> right here we're gonna separate all that it's a different look, generation do i need to draw a line on That's this side it's that those yeah. generation xers she's not answering that question i'm gonna draw a line on this side too <laughs> That's that generation Xers. You're drawing to me like I've drawn a thing, everything, <laughs> instant. Yeah, that is. Know, it, it's instant gratification. Whatever, it's not whatever generation my X. This is just the the society that we live in, where any and everything is acceptable, and whatever you can think of to do, go ahead and do it. It's ridiculous. And, exactly, and that's what I'm saying. So much of it's that happens X. now that you know. I don't know. I just don't know where we're headed anymore. I, I don't know what we're gonna do. Because so, you can say one thing. And then they'll turn that thing around before you know it. You'll be scratching your head there. But the bottom what line. I said? Oh my God. But the bottom line. Now, they, now they're talking about amnesia. No. That is not the topic of the no, show. No, that's not amnesia. That's we talking about Generation Xers. They out here doing. Now they talking about. They generation. are free spirits. They are free spirits. We're they, not, they believe in letting it go. We're yeah. talking about lying. We ain't talking about I know, generation. I know, but that's, but that's well, something that seems to be typical it, of it, that it, generation. It, in it, other words, you don't have to worry about the lying by mission because they're doing and telling. And they're open. And it's Everything open. is so open. Pull up a Facebook account. Pull up. Anything. They tell everything. Everything is so, out there. I guess but, it was but that's more right my now. But when they move on and they get more, when they become more mature, then those even though it was posted on Facebook, you know things may change as time moves on. That person is not going to go back and try to pull up Facebook records or whatever to find out more about that person. They they may oh, even uh, oh, they oh, well, no, but they may delete it off. You may delete that information off. Again, is that a lie? See, it, I got y'all thinking now. You, um, because it was, I watched a show a couple weeks ago where you're on a time schedule. You I understand you. where they had the man, and he wasn't a Generation Xer. He was older. Where he was going with girls and posting them as he was sleeping with them. Mm. Oh my goodness. Well, is that a lie? Our time has run out. Again. So yes, it's, wow. it's, it's over. Man. When you start talking about lies and deceit, that time goes by so fast. Well, I want you people to know out there, if you have any secrets that you have not shared, something that you think can be a traumatic awakening for people that you love, or even in your own personal life, really consider revealing some of those things. Take the stress out of life. Life is already hard. You don't need to, you don't need to create more stress. And you don't want to wreak havoc on somebody's life. We're talking about doing what's right to do. Don't be a liar. Don't lie by omission. Tell those secrets. Mm -hmm. Let your skeletons fall out the closet. Because mm. whether it's a lie, <laughs> whether it's a lie, an omission, or whatever you want to call it, the result Shit. is the same. Your actions or words have resulted in a deliberate false belief in another so that ultimately their choices will play out as you see fit. The Bible says Somebody else is holding. Tell me that temptation very hard to resist But these wicked women Ooh, they just persist